going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have another NU match. This one's against Hydros who uh, challenged me from Twitter. I'm basically using the same team as last time because these dudes are pretty badass and uh, also if you guys want to have a good chance to battle me you should, pro you should probably follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description and uh, it's definitely where I get most of my challenges from. So a lot of you have been asking where I get my battles from so just follow me on Twitter if you're looking to you know have a chance to battle me or whatever. I also from time to time post stupid random shit, be warned. So, I'm leading off with Triangle, as usual, and uh, I don't really feel like risking it. I decide just to switch off as I see that he leads off with a Rotom Fan. Um, I, I decide to play it safe. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to send in Steel Yo Girl, steal this guy's girl real quick, as uh, I get hit with a Confuse Ray. So Steelix is like, the fuck, man. I come out into battle instantly confused, just what the fuck. This guy, Steelix, doesn't even know what the hell is happening, where he is, if he's even in a battle right now. He's confused as fuck. But, um, anyways, he's going to go ahead and switch into the, uh, the Weezing as... I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve, and luckily for me, I'm going to break through the confusion and I'm able to get these Stealth Rocks up. So, thank God I get these Rocks up, as uh, they, they play a pretty a pretty decent role in this match. So, I get the Rocks up, and now I realize this thing's probably gonna hit me with like a Flamethrower, perhaps a Will-O-Wisp, doing these things that these Weezings do and stuff like that. So, I decide to switch into a um, Lantern, and luckily, my Lantern does not give two shits about any sort of fire. I get that burn, not even... Yellow Balls ain't even mad right now. I got that burn. That's completely fine by me. As long as, you know, you keep the burn away from my physical attackers, that is completely fine. So, he's now going to go ahead and switch. He switches into this Uxie. As, uh, this thing, this, you know, this thing's kind of weird. I go for a Scald. I figured, you know, it's a free turn. I know he's not going to leave his Weezing in. So, I figured maybe just might as well go for the Scald. Perhaps get a burn on something, but I'm not that lucky. As the, uh, the Uxie actually takes, like, no damage from that. And I was kind of sitting here, I was like, you know, maybe this thing, maybe it's just real specially defensive. Or maybe it's running Assault Vest. As I see that he hits me with the Giga Drain there, and I was kind of like, no regular Uxie is going to be carrying Giga Drain. So this is probably an Assault Vest in the set, which is pretty interesting, actually. Uxies are really difficult to take care of, even when they ain't wearing a freaking Assault Vest. But, anyways, I'm going to decide to switch into Mrs. Maggie here, as I'm like, it is time for some mustard, bitch. As I go for a substitute... I wanted to see if he's going to switch, if he was going to, you know, see what he's going to try. He actually ends up going for the Psychic, as Miss Maggie's substitute is uh, not going to really enjoy that. But it's going to break my substitute. And then I'm sitting here thinking, you know, after the leftover recovery and stuff, I'm looking pretty damn healthy. And I know that it's going to take like two or three Psychics to kill Miss Maggie anyways. So I was like, you know what, who needs a damn substitute for protection? I'm just going to go start setting up some nasty plots. Thinking some nasty thoughts as uh, Miss Maggie's getting pretty, pretty evil over here. He ends up going for a Giga Drain there, as maybe that was an overprediction, maybe he just wanted more health, I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but either way, Miss Maggie does not give, you know, does not give a damn. So, I now decide to go for a Shadow Ball. I could have gotten greedy, gone for some more nasty plots, but I figure, you know what, I'm just gonna hit this thing with a Shadow Ball. So I throw my balls at it, and the Uxie actually takes that rather nicely, so I'm starting to think this is definitely an Assault Vested Uxie, have only seen attacking moves from it, and that, that, that damage was unbelievable. So. I figure it's a, in a freaking Assault Vested Uxie. Either way though, I'm going to go ahead and throw another Shadow Ball at it, as that is going to kill the uh, the little little pixie guy. So that was that was pretty interesting. He probably didn't have any switches that wanted to take a plus two Shadow Ball from a Miss Magius. I don't know, but either way, he's going to go ahead and switch back into this, um, into this Fan Rotom, as I was kind of afraid of this thing. I don't know what he was going to do. He ends up going for a Shadow Ball. He outspeeds me as... or Shadow Ball. He ends up going for the Air Slash. As uh, that leaves me with a little bit of HP, enough to go ahead and kill him with a Shadow Ball. And Ms. Magius is putting in work. Luckily, I didn't get a flinch on that Air Slash. Would have ruined my day, but luckily, Ms. Maggie ain't playing no games out here. So, here he brings out the Feraligator. And I, when I see a Feraligator, I'm thinking, okay, I have little HP. He's probably running aqua jet or something like that some type of priority either way um i decided to switch into yellow balls as you'll see here he ends up going for the crunch which kind of bums me out because had i stayed in i would have been able to outspeed it and hit it with a thunderbolt which would have uh if not killed it done a dick load of damage but um yeah so yellow balls get hit gets hit by that crunch you just crunch it on my yellow balls that's a little bit weird bro kind of weird i don't know a little painful on my part but uh yeah so he now goes for a dragon dance i really predicted a switch I'm not sure why, I don't know, I, I guess he, he saw the opportunity as he could just start setting up some dragon dances. I would kill myself and burn eventually, but uh, I go for a Scald, hoping he was going to switch, but he doesn't, and I don't get the burn, so I'm like, oh god, there is a scary Feraligator on the other side of the field right now. Yellow Balls is in no position to be battling this damn thing, as he's now going to go ahead and hit me with a Crunch. I initially sent in my Lantern because I thought this thing was going to go for an Aqua Jet, would have gotten that Water Absorb, Lantern would have been very excited, but... Not the case, as now Lantern's gonna die to that last crunch, which is a bummer. But then I realized I still got my boy Triangle, 
who is uh, still running on that Focus Sash. So even if he stayed in and uh, knocked me down to my Sash, I would have been able to kill it with the Thunderbolts and all that good stuff. So he's now going to bring in Inhale the Weezing, who's going to take a Thunderbolts, and uh, it's not going to do too much to this thing, honestly. I was kind of hoping for that two-hit KO, but it's not looking like I'm going to get it. So I'm like, you know what, I'll save Triangle for later, tuck you back in my pockets, and we'll uh, send back out Ms. Maggie here. I probably should not have sent out Ms. Maggie. I don't know, I kind of figured that this thing was going to be not as useful for the whole rest of the match. I needed a free switch on this freaking, this wheezing. Either way though, I was kind of maybe thinking he was going to go for a Will-O-Wisp or something. Maybe I thought that Miss Magius would have been able to live the Will-O-Wisp damage, but I, I don't know. But anyways, I don't have much for this wheezing. This wheezing is the main kind of, you know, threat on this guy's team towards me. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to send in... I'm going to send in Steelix, maybe get a little Dragon Tail action going on here, switch this thing the hell out of here, he's going to have to bring it back in, take some more Stealth Rocks damage, and then I'll figure out a plan later. But I missed my freaking Dragon Tail, as that's kind of, you know, what, like, what the fuck, bro. I missed the first Dragon Tail, this is, thing's going to hit me with a freaking Flamethrower, who, I, I take that damage, I, I take that damage quite nicely, look at that, Special Defense Investment on my Steelix was, uh, pretty smart, so... I finally get the Dragon Tail off, as it's going to switch in the, uh, the Feraligator. He's going to take some Stealth Rocks damage, and uh, Steelix is sitting here kind of just burned, pretty, you know, feeling pretty useless. I got my Stealth Rocks up, and all I can do at this point really is, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do shit with my Gyro Balls, so he's going to tuck that guy away for some more, more Dragon Tails later or something. But anyways, I know he's going to hit me with a physical Water Attack, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to send in Wall Smith. I can eat up Water Attacks, I mean any attack actually, I don't know why I said Water Attack. I meant Physical Attacks. I can eat up physical attacks like nothing as um, he's now going to switch into a camera up and it seems like it seems like I've been seeing a lot of camera ups lately I don't, I don't know what it is and, and you people just be people just be using this shit all over the place but uh, yeah so I go for a u-turn I knew that for alligator was not gonna want to stay in against me so I figured I'll get a free switch see what he wants to go into turns out it's the camera up and I'm like all right this is perfect bubbles gets a uh, get a little redemption from that last match I wasn't able to kill that last camera up but now for alligator is going to uh, go ahead and hit this thing. I I go for a waterfall. He ends up switching into the wheezing after the stealth rocks damage, which is I, why I said the stealth rocks actually kind of came in handy earlier. Um, after the stealth rocks damage, a waterfall is looking like it is going to be a two hit KO on this thing, and I'm like, yes, I just killed a fucking wheezing with a for alligator. That is that is pretty remarkable. So. My for alligator is assault vest, so I'm rocking uh, waterfall, ice punch, aqua jets, and um, one more. I actually can't even remember, honestly. But anyways, he brings in the electivire, who is gonna be able to scare me out. Honestly, I wasn't really thinking. You know, I maybe he would overpredict, but then I was like, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna send in steal your girl, as uh, he makes a pretty nice play and goes for the cross chop, as that is definitely gonna do a lot of damage to steal your girl. Look at that. Oh my god. Almost did look at look at that damage. That is remarkable to a Mega Steelix. But uh yeah. It's gonna knock me to the point where the freaking burn damage is gonna kill me. And I'm like, ah, oh, Steelix, you you know, you, you didn't cut it this time. I'm sorry. It was kinda my fault though, honestly. But anyways, now I bring in Wall Smith, who is uh the number one dude that eats up damage. Look at that shit. He hits me with a cross chop. I know I can live that because I'm defensive as shit, and I am able to uh hit this thing hard with a retaliate, and that is definitely going to kill the Thunder God. So Electivire faints, Will Smith looking pretty freaking badass out here, got that 5 HP after the life orb damage, and I'm like, yes, I still have time for one more sucker punch, so he brings out the Feraligator, he's going to get hit with that Stealth Rocks, and then I um, am able to go ahead and sucker punch this thing to the face, which is going to kill him, and it's unfortunately going to kill me in the process, but hell yeah, Will Smith is always my main man, look at that shit, getting retaliating bitches, sucker punching bitches, no big deal. But uh, anyways, now he's going to bring out the camera up, as I'm just going to go ahead and send in Sir Bubbles, who is going to uh, be able to just kind of just destroy this camera up. The camera up is actually going to Omega Evolve here, and I'm like, oh yeah, Mr. Captain Magma coming back out again. Squidward, going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, turn into a big ass volcano, as uh, I'm going to be able to outspeed this thing with an Aqua, no, not, not outspeed it, I hit it with a priority Aqua Jet, I figured. I know I can almost kill a full health camera up with Aqua Jet, so I was like, you know what, fucking, I'm going for it this time. And the Aqua Jet ends up killing the camera up, so that was a really fun match, I'm actually really enjoying these kind of lower tiers. I started off playing OU, but uh, I'm actually, you know, starting to play some NU. Look for more of these matches on my channel, probably some underused stuff coming. I actually, uh, I built a whole bunch of new Pokemon recently, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of Wi-Fi battle videos up with some new interesting shit, so if you guys could support me by clicking that like button, I would love you forever. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.